If you have ever jumped out of the plane with your visor up and then very coolly flipped your visor down on exit while nailing the exit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This video is all about how to clean the boogies off of your visor. Nobody likes sky boogies. Um, I don't know where they come from, but let me tell you what, every couple of months or so, or every month if you jump a lot, you're gonna have to clean your boogies. So, you will need a skydiving helmet with a visor. If you don't have a visor, I don't know what you're doing, go drink a beer. Uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and you'll also need some dish soap. Okay, uh, step number one, you gotta unscrew your little side plates here. See, three screws, three screws. If you're kind of a moron like me, okay, what you need is a little dish like this to put your screws in. Do not lose your screws, you guys. Don't lose your screws on those zoo dives. Step one, unscrew your screws. Now, the trick about these things, you don't wanna scrub your visor at all, okay? Because it does have an anti-fog coating and um, you don't want to scrub that off because then your visor is going to fog up. You're not going to be able to see shit. So, don't scrub that off. So, I got my visor off. You guys, can you see the boogies in there? I'm going to do like a close-up, super artsy shot so you can see the boogies. Um, this is what you want to do, okay? Get it wet. Bam. All you got to do Let's put a dab. A little dab will do ya, okay? Put a little dab in there. Spread it around with your hands. Okay, this is why you gotta do your own mask, man, because you're touching the boogies, okay? Wash your hands afterwards. Use hand sanitizer. Uh, one of them sick boogies. So just wash it around in there, okay? And you wanna get the front side of the visor, too. Um, and just do it with your hand. See, you don't want to use a sponge or anything that's abrasive because um, that's going to scrape the coating off and we want to keep that uh, coating in there. Really focus on this part up here. It's going to get scratched. This part down here. Uh, rinse the visor, you guys, with water. Rinse it real good. And then after that, just place it on your paper towel, let it dry on its own. Because I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna touch the wife's boogies. Look at that, nice new altimeter. Cool and color coordinated. I ain't that cool, you guys, so. Uh, stuck away. So, uh, let me set up some cool B-roll shots of unscrewing the screws because I have no life, I have nothing to do today, you guys, so one sec. Okay guys, this is the one I use for my oven. Um, okay guys, when you're done, just wipe wipe your visor down. It's dry, it's almost dry. Uh, with a microfiber cloth, this one I use for my stove, and it's got probably stove cleaner on it, so I'm not gonna use that. But if you don't have a microfiber cloth, check this out. Uh, the inside of your cookie helmet bag be used to wipe your visor down. So wipe it down, get any of those water spots uh, removed, and then you can reinstall your visor. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Keep your boogies clean, keep your viewport uh, clear. I hate when I flip my visor down and I'm like, ugh, boogies, and then you're trapped in there with your boogies for like the whole jump. Thank you guys again for watching the channel. I hope you got a little bit of value out of this video. You know what guys? Invite your girlfriends or your skydiving gals to the channel, okay? Because I look at the analytics and it's like 96.4% guys. Um, which is great. You know, one of you guys called me sexy. Uh, you're welcome. But, um, 
you know, skydiving is a male-dominated sport. We're trying to get more ladies interested, so bring them onto the channel, you guys. Um, let me know how you keep your visor clean, what kind of helmet you jump with in the comments, and as always, I'll see you guys next time uh, back in the sky.